What's up, you guys? Not here's the T9, and today I'm gonna be doing a voiceover again because I don't feel good. But you already know today is Monday. You know what we do on Mondays? We do dreams. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. Okay, so I have a story time of my dream. So I had a really scary dream. Um, I'm sleeping. I'm sick. I've been sick for the past two days, and so I'm trying to wake up out of my dream, and I can't wake up. That's like the main purpose of today's video. I want to focus on people who were dreaming and couldn't wake up because I'm so traumatized by it. So I went to sleep at about 10, didn't wake up till about 2, 3, literally 3 something. It was like 3, whatever, like 3.30 something, 3.20 something. That's around the time I woke up. But remember, I went to sleep at 10 p.m. So it felt like I was sleeping for about weeks, months. Um, I would literally convince myself in my dream i'm not even kidding because I, I keep doing like little stuff like i just took a shower and then it triggered like a memory from my dream so i keep doing little things that i'm remembering like and now i'm starting to come to terms i was there for about like a month or something like that you saw everything that's like triggering me to like remember my dream i'm starting to realize like now nah, i was there for days but so from start to dream, I'm living my life. It's a regular life. It's a good life, first of all. This life is good. I think that's why I was like, oh, I'll stay here. But anyways, yeah, so I'm living a good life, doing everyday stuff. Um, I have friends in that dream, and, like, we're, we're just lit. It's a good life. So for some reason, I'm thinking, right, I'm literally at, like, a bar or something with my friends, but we're eating, when we're drinking. So I'm, I don't know, it's a restaurant, whatever. So I'm doing whatever I'm doing, and I say to myself, like, I'm really dreaming right now. But I'm like, no, no. Tell yourself you're awake because so that you know when you're dreaming. I'm, like, arguing myself in my head. But I'm like, I am dreaming right now. I know I am. I know I am. I know I am. So whatever. I go back to sleep a little bit, and I wake back up, and we're, like, lit. And we're, like, I guess leaving the club or leaving wherever we was at because we're, like, a parking lot. And I tell myself, I go back to that. I get, I don't even know why I go back to that. Because that was the overthinking. It was a dream, right? So I go back to that. And I'm like, nah, this is a dream. I'm dreaming. Blah, blah, blah. Fight with myself again. Tell myself I'm not dreaming. I'm not dreaming. I would know when I'm dreaming. I know when I'm dreaming. Well, long story short, y'all, I definitely was dreaming. And when I woke up, I sat there in amazement. Because I really was like, I'm awake. I had convinced myself that I was not dreaming and that I was awake in my dream. How sick is that? But the sicker part is, <laughs> the sickest part is, a lot of people are doing that. Like, a lot of people are doing that. Like, I'm going to show you guys this. Watch this video real quick. Anybody ever had a dream that you know that you're dreaming, you're aware it's a dream, and then you try to wake yourself up, but it's like you're numb or, like, drugged, and you just can't wake yourself up because like you can't keep your eyes open and you just keep getting sucked back into the dream. I was desperately trying to wake myself up for like an hour and a half. It's the most crazy thing I've ever experienced. I still feel drunk kind of, and I haven't drank anything. Like I feel like I was drugged. Shit is crazy. Can we get this to like dream TikTok, spiritual t TikTok, which TikTok. I want to know what this means and how do I stop it? Okay, so now as you guys watch that video, you guys know I am not alone. A lot of people are getting stuck in their dreams, can't wake up, this, then, the other. But this video, this person isn't the only person that has had, had a hard, had, has had a hard time waking up in their dreams. Sorry, guys. Like I said, I'm sick. And y'all are going to get this video no matter what. I know it's a little, a little crazy, but y'all going to get this video, okay? So, I have like three other story times that I want you guys to watch of people not being able to wake up in a dream because this happens, okay? This is this not just me. Everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people are going through this. So, I want you guys to watch this video, watch these videos. And that's how we're going to end this video off today, okay? I will give my opinion, my opinion of everybody's like story time dream at the end. But yeah, enjoy these videos, guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Thank you guys so much for making these TikToks. Without you guys, I wouldn't even be able to watch this. Let's get into the rest of these story times. Hey, y'all. I am here to talk about a dream that I had last night. And this dream was something that was that has been on my mind since then. And it felt so real to a point that like I just couldn't wake myself up from it. So yes, it's one of those dreams. 
um it felt very like shaman it gave me like a shaman vibe but i'll get to that point and um obviously it's a dream so it's very vivid so bear with me um but anyways in my dream me and a friend we went to a cultural event it felt very like spiritual sensitive right and we were approaching like two people that was offering food and those food consisted of like pork chicken all that good stuff and then um two people behind us was approaching us and one of them was a shaman and i believe he was a man and he told me to not eat any of those foods otherwise i would get sick and i would pass out and i just basically listened and just basically walked away right so as soon as i walked away i completely passed out and it felt longer than it seemed like but it was probably like two seconds and then like i woke up seeing the shaman and he was like you know like just looking at me and then all of a sudden i completely passed out again and i consciously heard his voice around me and he said all you have to do is follow my voice and so i was like i was like am i being trained to be a shaman you know <laughs> like oh my god so and i also felt like me being trained as a shaman being in a trance and all i felt like i was also helping someone at the same time so i was like oh my god like what happens if i don't find his voice so um all he said was follow my voice and like you know he kept repeating that like every 20 seconds because like the closer you get to his voice that means you will you're doing good right but because he felt so distant it felt like he was moving around so i had no idea how to find his voice so i had to freaking pull out all my senses to hear him say follow my voice right and i was so scared that i felt my eyes <laughs> be doing that like rapid eye movement and i couldn't wake myself up at that time and then all of a sudden like apparently time was up and i didn't find his voice and i felt like i was at a funeral so i felt like i didn't do my task of being a shaman and helping somebody i don't know what that means <laughs> so yeah. By the way, this was like 40 minutes in my brain, not like 10 seconds. So I wake up, I'm like, no, this is not right again. I look up and Kim looks at me and she's looking over like this, staring in my eyes. And I'm just like, that's not the fucking real Kim. That's not Kim. I know it's not Kim. And she's like, what's wrong? She had a real dick, real fucked up demon voice. And she got up and she was like, like towards me and I was like oh shit and like I grabbed her by like the head and she's sitting there going like bleh, bleh, bleh. like fucking snakes coming out of her, like all over her face and shit it was fucking horrifying and I'm grabbing her by the neck like trying to like strangle and I'm like no this can't be real and I'm trying to move her over and finally Kim in real life woke me up in real life and I'm just like <laughs> like I got pulled out of the fucking matrix <laughs> and she was like, you all right? You okay? And I'm just like, 
<laughs> you know, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. What's wrong? What do you mean? What's wrong? You don't want anyone to ever know that you're fucking dreaming and being like a psycho. So I'm like, yeah, it's just like you're fucking tired. You know, it's like tired. Uh, what? Why? What's wrong? What's the matter? And she said, she said you were lying there on your back and you were going like this. TikTok. Let me tell y'all the story. I had a wild ass dream last night. I hope y'all can hear me, but this will happen. So, I don't know, maybe because I've been taking Ubers a lot, that's why this popped up. But, think of being in a drive through like Big Donald's, and then think of a, a drive in movie theater. So, everybody had their own drive in screen, like that order menu. But it was like a game show type of thing. And I think we was in the Uber, it was me and my brother, right? So, everybody answered questions. I don't think we answered no questions. The, the driver just pulled off and he started like threatening us, threatening us or something. They got to the point where he cut my arm. And he, he did something to my brother, like he cut him too. <laughs> yeah, my ass was trying to fight back, you know. I'm tired, I just went up some stairs. Okay, let me start finishing the story. I said we was fighting, but well, not necessarily. I don't remember. I don't remember a lot of details, but I think I did like try to attack the man or some shit. I don't know what he did, but. We was driving and then somehow we ended up in like a forest, I think. I don't fucking know. So I went in protective mode. I'm texting my mama like on a slick side from my brother's phone. I'm like, give me your phone. I'm texting her, dropping locations and shit. She is not fucking responding. So, so far we ended, I said we was in the forest, right? I don't know how we ended around the man family. We was, I think he cooked, somebody cooked. Cause I remember eating, but I refused to eat. My brother didn't eat, it was just sitting there. I don't remember all the details, but we escaped. I had to go protect the mold. And then, I don't know, like that just scared me. Oh shit. Maybe if I told y'all all this yesterday, I would've remembered. Cause I was telling the people at work, I literally stopped the video and I was telling people at work when I should've just kept it rolling so y'all could hear it. But I, I don't know, it's gone, it's too late. And what's crazy is I remember every detail vividly yesterday, but now I don't know. Okay, so after watching all those videos, all those TikToks with you guys of the story times of people not being able to wake themselves up from dreams, I came to the conclusion that our dreams are maybe not becoming more and more realistic, but they are so realistic to the point where how do you know if you're dreaming right now or sleeping right now this is just the world that you this is just the dream that you comprehend the most but not necessarily the real world i would say this is just like because every dream i go into i re, i know what's going on and i know that world and I, I immediately snap back into that world and i forget this world i don't know about you guys but that's what i do in my dreams i forget about where i really live what's really going on or what i think is really going on and i'm just stay straight in this world and then when i wake up is when i remember this world again so for all these dreams just gives me like we are just like switching through mad different like i don't know timelines realities realms mention something you know what i'm saying like we're we're just living mad different lives i feel like or oh, however you would say that I don't know. Comment what you guys think about this video in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I promise you guys, I'm not going to be doing voiceovers for much longer. I like, no, I really don't care to show my face, actually. It, it's no different. I'm indifferent to it, but I feel like I could do better on YouTube if, I mean, I'll keep doing voiceovers. I really don't care. I don't know what this little part is anymore. But um, thank you so much for watching this video. It's United States T9 Up, and today was Monday. We did dreams, and I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, all that, all that, all that. Or not. I mean, it's okay. I don't even know what's happening right now. Uh, but bye.